Okay, for part two, what we want to do is give some materials and textures to our gingerbread man to let him look a little bit more realistic. Right now, for render, this is what we see, and there's a couple of problems. First of all, the head looks like a squished golf ball, and the body doesn't have enough light. So we'll select the whole mesh, uh, as we have selected here, in object mode, and we'll click on smooth. Next, we'll go to top view, 7 on the number pad, and we'll look for the lamp. There it is. G key to grab it. Uh, we could also use the arrows as well. And let's render again and see if we solved our first two problems, and that's looking much better. <clears throat> okay. Next thing we're going to do is go into uh, the Materials button, and we'll add a new... Well, we've got a new material. We don't need to add one. But let's give it kind of a chocolate color. So let's see. That might be a little bit too dark. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. Sort of a molasses slash chocolate color. And if we render it, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the only problem is, you can see that it reflects a fair bit of light, and gingerbread tends not to do that, so we're going to drop the specularity down a fair bit and render again, and that's looking somewhat better. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go from the material button to the texture button, and this will allow us to make a much more complex uh, material on, the, uh, uh, on our 3D model. What I'm going to do is select under type, I'm going to select stuck eye, and we'll render right away to have what it looks like. You can see, okay, that looks nothing like a gingerbread man, or a stucco for that matter. But we can fix that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is look at that purple color. And that purple color uh, is down here. So what it's done is it's mapped our material color to our texture color. Our material color being this chocolate brown to the texture uh, color, which is this sort of purplish, pinkish color. So we'll click on that and we're just going to make this dark. Let's render again. It's not going to look a whole lot better, but it is coming along. At least the, the color itself is looking better, although it looks a little bit, little bit like a burned uh, gingerbread mat at this point. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go back up and let's click on material. It gives us a little more realistic look at what we're looking at. And then the next thing we'll do is go into size. Actually, before we even do that, Let's see if we can get some three-dimensional uh, aspects to this texture. And so what I'm going to do is click on Displace down here, and this will let the texture displace the surface. Uh, and we'll render that and see how it looks. Okay, you can see that that certainly is affecting it, but it may be a little bit too much. So let's take that number down a bit. I think what we'll do is we'll I'll click on it and set it to 0 0.04. Not, oops, I think I missed it. 0.04. And let's render again. Okay, it's a little more subtle this time. The next thing we'll do is... I think we better do one more thing, actually. I'm going to go back up, and we're going to go wall in. Uh, down to normals, and I'm going to set the normal to 0 0.025. Well, first of all, let's render to see what the default setting gives us. And yeah, again, something clearly wrong with normals. Uh, at that setting at least. So we'll set it to 0.25. Actually, let's make that 0.025. Render again. Okay. And the next thing we'll do is set the size, which is right here. And we're going to take that way down. And you can see what's happening if you look up in the material window keep going down. I think I'll just go 0 0.004 for this. And let's render it and see how it looks. It's taking a little bit to render. And you know what? That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. 